brushes. You know what I'm talking about. Like this. Hello, my bomb beauties. It's time for favorites. Let's get straight to the point, okay? My last couple videos have been long, and so I'm gonna try to make this video short, condensed, like this. And so yeah, it's time for favorites. This is April favorites video. Yeah. Now I'm starting a new series, just so you know. This isn't gonna be long. I'm just gonna tell you something real quick. Um, I'm starting a new series where I do, like right after I do monthly favorites, I do my monthly favorite makeup look. So you can see the, the products that I'm talking about and see the, my favorite look that I've been wearing with those products, using those beauty or makeup products. So I'm really excited about this. So the next video after this is definitely gonna be this look right here, which is my favorite look for the month, the, month, the look that I've been wearing literally all the time, besides in videos, of course, but whenever I go out on dates, whenever I go out every day, this has been the look that I've been rocking for this last month. So I'm gonna show you how to recreate it yourselves in the next video. So stay tuned for that and subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet so you can know when I upload. And let's get straight into my favorites. So my first favorite ever is what I have on right now, these earrings. I have been wearing these earrings probably almost every single day this month. And I think it's mainly because these are the only earrings that I took out of my packing boxes, because um, we're not in our house yet, obviously. I could talk about this in every single video. But, um, so I've been kind of making outfits around these earrings, <laughs> which I know is crazy, but this is the only earrings I have out. And except for yesterday, I went and I'm like, that's it. This is getting crazy. I'm wearing these dang earrings every single day. I'm gonna go in there and find my jewelry and take it out. So I went and found my jewelry and took it out. But it's favorite time, so I wore them again. Mm. Yeah, I got these ones at Forever 21 online a couple of years ago. So I don't know if they have it still there or not, but that's where I got them, just in case you're wondering. My next favorite is this little sponge right here. And it's super huge right now. You can see it fits in a little egg in my my palm and this is big because I used it this morning um, so it's still very moist and this is the Real Techniques Beauty Sponge and I have used quite a bit of beauty sponges and this one is so soft this is probably the softest one or the closest one to the beauty bunger that I have found and um, I just love it because it's so soft and man does it blend it in and it makes putting on your makeup a comfortable nice process because this is moist and it's like putting something cool and just like waking yourself up in the morning and it's just soft so you're not like pounding on your face I know a while ago a couple years ago probably just a year ago I had a sponge that was just way too hard and I was just like nee, nee, nee. and I didn't realize that it was hard because I never had tried this one and I tried this one and I was like holy crap that one was hard I like this one better I'm not like punching myself in the face with it and so yeah, I like this real tinting sponge and I've seen them at Walmart and um, Ulta as well, they have these. So next we'll talk about nails, I guess, since my nails are like in your face right now. I'm trying this month, this next month, to go a little brighter. That's why I have highlighter nails. Because this last month, seriously, the only thing I've been wearing is like coppery gold, like soft tones like that and nude and you guys know which nudes I've been wearing because I talked about or I hauled them those two nude colors one from Wet n Wild called Soy that I have been loving because it's like a, a very cool neutral that just fits my skin shade really really well and then the um, the LA colors color craze nude polish that I talked about in my hits and misses video. I've been wearing that like crazy as well. I'm talking about like those two soy and that LA colors one. I've been switching in and out and then I and then I saw this one because I 
like I said, I went back and I took out my nail polish because I was, I was like, this is ridiculous. I only have these two nail polishes. I went and got my nail polishes out and then I got this one, Elf, Na Elf Nail Polish, and this one is in the color copper. And so between the nudes and this coppery color, I've been wearing them. And I need to, I'm, it's spring and summer, like I should be wearing bright colors. So I'm like, okay, I'm starting to wear bright colors on the nail, so ba-bam. I'm doing that now but this is just such a gorgeous copper and it kind of looks a little bit darker here on the camera um, but it's just really light and really 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 pretty and I only have tried two of these elf nail polishes and they're actually really good I like that the formula is thin but the color is still opaque so I like that because then you don't feel like you have gunky nails or it's not too thick or it doesn't take too long to dry um, so I really like that and it's a really like metallic -y. it doesn't have shimmer in it. it's more like a metallic -y, um copper color and it's really really pretty and really flattering on a lot of different skin shades so and it was only two bucks so bonus this has also been my favorite which i've also talked about in a recent video this is a citrus scented hand cream from the dollar tree i'm gonna put it on right now because I have been carrying this one and then it has his little orange friend and that one's in my purse and so this one's like with my beauty stash and then the other one is in my purse and man is it does it smell nice but it's not like a rambunctious nice you know what I mean like it's not like in your face like oh that's way too much but it's enough that it smells nice and it makes you feel good and then it's soft and it just it makes my hands not ashy and really soft and nice and not dry so I've been liking this one and bonus that you find it at the Dollar Tree and next is a couple of brushes and these are from the BH Cosmetics the um the gold this is what is it the um sculpting kit I believe so it comes in the kit and they're all gold handles which is what attracted to me but then they're all they all have that skunk brush kind of thing so they're dual fiber or is that what they're called? Yeah, there's the skunk brushes. You know what I'm talking about. So this one here, and these are my two favorites that I've just been loving. I'm using all of them. And the smaller ones I use for my eyes. Um, but these are the two that really stood out. So this one here, you're supposed to use it for like concealer or something around the face to help sculpt or something. But I use this in the crease and I love it. It blends out so nicely and it applies color so nicely without using too much color, without sucking too much color into the brush. So I've been loving this one. You can just see just how nice it is. It's just round and perfect and helps blend, but it's not too flimsy that it blends too much. You know what I mean? So it's just really nice, especially for like a dramatic eye. So I've been loving this one. And then this little baby right here is perfect for sculpting. So I used it today and it's perfect for sculpting. And I find that you can sculpt really nice because it's seriously, look, it's not even budgy. It's like so dense. So can you see how it's not even bending the bristles? Like it's just like so dense and so I use it for sculpting and then I just go in circles like this to really blend it out and I haven't had a problem with it not blending out good I haven't had to need a separate brush um, but it still leaves me chiseled enough that it gives me what I want so it makes me look thinner but I don't feel like I need a separate brush than this I just blend it out or go on the side and blend it out on the side so you don't have to use a, different brushes to do your contour um, this is a pretty good brush and it does what you want and then if you just get don't get as much products because this will pick up a lot of products like I said it's dense so everything sits on top it doesn't get sucked in um, so if you don't pick up as much product it's a lot softer and easier to blend so this is the L'Oreal true match crayon concealer in W4 to five. I'm actually more of a W6 now, um, but I still use this for kind of any spots that I need. Um, I took care of a little spot over here, and I have been loving this little crayon concealer. It's awesome. And then I have another little chubby stick. This is the Neutrogena Moisture Smooth Color Stick in Fresh Papaya, and this is an old favorite, man. When the chubby sticks first started coming out, I think they, um, who was the first one to come out? I'm not sure who the first one to come out, but right after that, these ones came out. And these are so dang moisturizing, and that's what I have on my lips today. 
these are so incredibly moisturizing it's amazing and they just feel so nice and so whenever I wear this I don't feel the need to use a highlight it's the Milani which it's Go, for, falling apart on me. It's the Milani Baked Powder Blush in Rose Dioro. I've wore this in several videos already, um, but this is what it looks like. It's a baked blush. It's awesome. And you can see how the top's not even domed anymore because I've been using it so much. And it is just so incredibly gorgeous. It has that kind of gold to it, and that's just, ugh, like this, the lips. The earrings, the eyes, all of it together. It's like, it's a constant favorite wear of mine because it just works so well. And these Milani baked blushes are, actually all the Milani blushes, whether they're baked or not, are freaking amazing. And so I really like this. And this is just one of my, this is old all time favorites since when I first started YouTube. This is one of the blushes that I had and it's just one of my favorites. So for the eyes, this is what I've reached for and grabbed and tried and loved. This is the Divergent. These are from the Divergent um, kits that first came out when the first Divergent movie came out. They had, Sephora came out with a Divergent um, makeup kit that came with lip glosses, um, another eye palette, and then a face palette. So this is like part of that Ferris wheel and it says like Divergent on it. These are really cute palettes and I know that a lot of you guys have them and I haven't done any makeup tutorials with these. So I'm I've been using them that, this last month, so you're going to see me use them in the next video as well. But, so this one here is the Abnegation, and then this one is the Erudite palette. And these two go hand in hand, I swear. I love these. So the Abnegation palette, let me just tell you, there's like a little mirror, and then that's what they look like. I have been loving the... Altruistic Almond, which is like a very creamy, 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 light matte color. And man, do I love these. These just are so beautiful, so soft. And it's what I use kind of as my highlight right underneath the bone. And then the Golden Honesty is such a pretty, pretty light gold. And it's what I have all over my lids. And holy crap are these freaking amazing and these are so nice and then from the erudite palette i have been obsessing over peaceful shimmer which is again it's that kind of peachy um peachy color that just goes really well with the lips and the blush that i have on today and then humble sheen is a beautiful inner corner color that does have some sheen to it um and also, Radiant Initiation is what I've been loving in the crease to kind of tie that all together, which is a cool, cool, cool brown. So that's all of them swatched right there. And, uh, 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 uh. Are these just amazing? Like, these are just some amazing, amazing eyeshadows. And then last is the LA Colors Graphics Eyeliner. You can find this, I found mine at the Dollar General. And it doesn't claim to be waterproof or anything like that, but man, it doesn't budge for my eyes until I take it off. And so last night, I know I'm not supposed to go to sleep with my makeup, but I went to sleep with it to see. And so I woke up at six in the morning, did my makeup, went to sleep at 10 at night. I woke up this morning at six in the morning again, and it was still on there. And I had to take some lotion and kind of like some makeup remover and take it off before I apply today's makeup. And so it does last a really good amount of time. It's really black, black, but you're gonna, you have to just learn how to use it. So I've been loving this. Um, LA Colors, man, they're starting to come out with really good stuff and they're like deceivingly good. Like you don't think they're good because you find them at the dollar store, at the Dollar Tree, um, online, but they actually do. And so that's it for my favorites. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it's not way too long for you guys. Um, I'm really excited about this new favorite makeup look of the month series I'm gonna start doing. So keep an eye out for that. It's gonna be coming up next. Um, if you wanna see more pictures of these products and kind of some more information where you can find them, links, all that kind of stuff, check out my blog, bombbeautiful.com. Um, it's definitely, everything's gonna be there. And yeah.
Don't forget, beauty comes from within, so make sure you let your shine today, and I'll talk to you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.